Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. And today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a smooth shake for your AMVs and After Effects. So the basic tools, the basic tools you'll need are S shake and really motion tile. Um, that's all you really need, and one adjustment layer. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So first off, prepare your clip. Prepare your clip. Mine's already fixtures as you can see. I wanted to do this so it looks better. <laughs> um, so first thing you want to do is control, nope, not my bad, control of Y and add an adjustment layer, adjustment layer, add motion tile, add motion tile to your clip, make sure it's at something like 200, 180 for both, both sides, mirror the edges, boom, 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 pretty simple. Now what you're going to do is add S underscore dissolve shake now everything's gonna look a little confusing especially if you're new if you're new to making shakes but follow along and i'll get you a little bit of a basic understanding so i'm gonna extend this out here for reasons so what we're gonna change first is the amplitude amplitude you're gonna keep in the beginning and at the end you're gonna make it zero Easy, easy to uh, the keyframes, highlight all of them. Press F9, open up the graph editor. Make graph something like this. It can be something like that. It can be something like this. It can be something like that. But I'll do something like this. Pretty simple, pretty clean. Pretty clean, pretty smooth graph. Um, frequency. Now we're going to talk about the frequency here and the amplitude. The amplitude is defines how strong the shake is and the frequency is how fast the shake is or how many times it shakes really so for me i like to put this at six or seven but pushing it i i could do eight but that's kind of pushing it so i'll do seven for now and amplitude i do like to actually change this to something like 2.5 only because i feel like three is too strong in some cases for me so I would adjust the graph like this, right back to how it, sort of how it was before. And yeah, that's the two basic functions of the shake already done. Uh, this motion blur uh, is motion blur for shakes is not very good. So I would definitely recommend not having that on uh, your wrap X and Y. You can change those to none because you have motion talent on uh, your motion blur length. You can set that to zero and that's all the basic functions. Except for the dissolve, dissolve percent, but we'll get into that a bit later as we go through the X and Y and Z and tilt shake functions. All right, so now we're going to go into a little bit of the, the nitty gritty of the shake itself. So let's open up the X and Y shake module. Module. Um, change the random amplitude of the X itself, something like 90, and the random frequency of it to 0.8. We want it to be less noticeable as the Y shake, which means we'll set this to something 130, and then we'll change the frequency to 1.1, as shown here. Don't mess around with the X and Y phase, although you can, it's just, you don't have to really do it for today's tutorial, it's just not really necessary. Um, the Z shake, or Z shake, that goes in and out, uh, like Z position. So we'll change this to something like 50 um, and the tilt shake, which is pretty strong. I can't lie. So if you put it to three, it's going to be one of those shakes where it's going to go everywhere. So change it to something like one or 1.5. That's, that's kind of the max I would put it at. Uh, so that's the basic modules done for the, that's the nitty gritty modules. I mean, for the shake. And now we will get on to the dissolve percent. So you don't have to keyframe this, but you want to put this at a high enough value. So let me teach you something. If you put this all the way up, it'll start to fade out. Meaning you don't, that means your clip's gone. <laughs> so for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be putting this at a max of 30% so it doesn't fade out at all. So when you play it back, as you can see, you have a shake. Let's, let's play it back. You have some sort of shake, which is looks pretty clean. I cannot lie, looks pretty clean. But we can make this a little more effective. How do we make this a little bit more effective? We use the random seed. The seed here is a 
is a generator. Basically, it's a random generator when you when you keep putting the numbers in. So when you go from like 0.8 to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, it generates a random shake based off that number. So I could put out 0.3 and we could have a shake like this. Although it's not very effective, we can make it lower and do something. Or maybe we can change it to something that looks like it's going to zoom in. Something like that. We can change something like that. As you can see, as you can see here. So just play around with the seed, um, and you'll find a value that you'll pretty much be content with. Something like that could work too. Maybe pair this with, uh, maybe pair this uh, motion tiled uh, frame with like an effect or a one framer, and you'll be good with that one. But honestly, I will keep it like this. I will keep it like this, and I'll say that I'm content with this. Um, obviously, uh, you can change any of these modules to your heart's content, and you can change all of these to their heart's content as well. So that's basically it for the story. If you want to see more, uh, please do shout out in the comments. Uh, if you want more tutorials, I will be glad to. I will be gladly able to make some. Uh, and for your convenience, I do have a preset available. Oh, sorry, I do have a preset available uh, for a shake. I will put it in the link in the description of this tutorial, so you can see for yourself that I know how to make these bangers. Um, so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya.